Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to develop a chart of direct shear test and calculate the shear parameters of soil from the chart or using some equations. And we are going to plot the more failure envelope in the graph. So for that, we will be in a requirement of some data of normal stress and shear stress which you can see on our in the excel now for inserting the chart go to insert tab and from the varieties of chart select the xy scatter chart and from that select the scatter with straight lines and marker right click anywhere on your chart go to select data click on add for x axis we will be adding our normal stress and for y axis we will be adding our shear stress repeat the same procedure till our all data has been inserted now you can see there are four different color dots on our chart click on any dot go to the format tab of our chart Click on shape fill, change it color to the dark gray and go to shape outline and select no outline. Now for applying this feature, we will be use, clicking on the bucket and its below point. To add the more failure envelope to our chart, we need to select all our data in a single series so now right click on the chart go to select data click on add and in x axis select all our data click on y and select all our data now you can see that our gray dot has changed to the blue color for that we will go to the design go to the change chart type and go to combo change from the cluster column to xy scatter line and marker as already we have done in, in, at the starting and don't forget to take out the tick from the secondary axis for the last series we are going to select the xy scatter with straight line now you can see that it's coming in a blue line with gray dots now you can see the blue line with gray dots now for changing the color line click on the line go to format click on the shape outline change it to the black and change its weight to the one now you can clearly see the more failure and luck and for getting the equations from the chart Click on chart, go on the plus mark and go on to the trend line. On the trend line, go on the more options, click on series 5, click on OK. We will be posting our linear equations and don't forget to click on the display equation on chart. It's ready now. Now from the chart. The last value is our C and the first value with X is our 5. So for converting it into the 5, we will be using a function name as degree and 8N and the number is 0 0.3739. And don't forget to close all your brackets. So our result is 20.50. but shows us more decimal so we will be using round function to convert it into the two decimals okay now for calculating the c from the equations we will be using a function named intercept okay and intercept is having two argument which is first one is your known y's and the second is known x so it is the same result of C and for 5 we will be using again the degree functions to convert as the Excel 
is showing the result in radian so to convert it into degree we'll be using the function degree a10 and the function will be the slope again it is having two arguments as same as the intercept by selecting our y's and x we will be closing our brackets and enter so same answer but again it's in more decimal we want in the two decimal so round up round off into the two digits so simple and easy we can convert this also into the two three decimal now to convert this into degree and minute we will be using the function concatenate now that function allows us to add various function in a single cell so we will be using our left function to bring out the first two digits of our five and add a degree symbol again will be comma and using right function to bring the right value again we want two digits and we will multiply it by 60 to convert it into the minutes and don't forget to add the symbol of minute in double inverted commas and press enter here is the our conversion now we are going to see how to format our chart right click on the any axis go to the format axis we will be changing it to the 2 major will be the 0.5 and minor will be also the 0.5 again click on the x axis now for changing the color of our axis go to the format click on the y axis right click format axis we are going to add the tick mark major type outside and we will change its color to the black now we are removing this chart title we are going to add the axis titles of our y and x now for adding the our x axis details and y axis detail click on the add element add charge element go to the axis title click on primary horizontal again click on it write down normal stress okay again click on first of now we will change it font size as i don't want it to be 10 i want it to be 12 and in cambria and bold so and color in black now same procedure for our y axis 